Good evening, everyone. I'm Fabian Basabi, your state representative, with a message for you to share with any who do not stand unequivocally with Israel. Let us assume this person does not know their history. Let me simplify the lesson to the recent attack of October 7th that we witnessed together in real time. Breaking an already existing ceasefire with no respect of the rules of engagement in battle, Hamas's act of war was to kill innocent lives, including babies, women, and the elderly in the most horrific and monstrous manner. In a very justified retaliation by Israel against these terrorists, these cowards who shield themselves with the lives of the innocent with no regard for human life, Israel is forced to persevere through this pain as the mission of eliminating Hamas must be followed through to complete annihilation. In the words spoken by former Prime Minister of Israel, Golda Meir, we can forgive you for killing our children, but we will never forgive you for making us kill yours. The fact that we must state this again today means we have allowed history to repeat itself. This time, never again will be never again. To our community, let us consider that forgiveness is a very sensible sentiment that like a river flowing, changes, rises, and subsides in our hearts, and is so personal and so personally justifiable, it holds neither absolute nor knitted boundaries. It is never conclusive nor linear. But let us also understand, so is revenge and retaliation. I took a personal vow of honesty to my constituents when I took office. And today, I honor this and let you know that I can't find in my heart any forgiveness towards those who attacked your community, your children, your parents, your sisters, your brothers, and your land. There is not now, never was, nor will there ever be any reason even remotely close to good enough. No belief, no faith, no riches, no territory, nothing can ever possibly justify this. Terrorists who take advantage of a moment of celebration to devastate civilians. I can't find any forgiveness for that. Terrorists who laugh, revel, take joy in holding hostages, holding women and children, terrified sacrificial lambs, aware they are destined to eventual death. I can find no forgiveness for this. Terrorists dancing over dead bodies of innocent people. This is not humanity. It is true, they are monsters, and I can find no forgiveness for this. Let me be clear, the funding, the support, the questioning and the justifications of other nations, the stupidity occurring on our streets and on our college campuses, I can find no forgiveness for this either. Israel and its people are asked to summon extraordinary courage. I urge you to question your leaders, elected or not, who of them do not denounce Hamas, Hezbollah, Rashid Atliab, Ilan Omar, along with their other terrorist sympathizers? Tell them, we see you for who you are. And no, they may not play both sides. No, they may not be silent. This is about good versus evil. And we have a right for everyone to know where they stand. Our local Jewish community has reached out concerned about the current political climate of the nation. And I am here to tell you, in your beautiful town and in the rest of my district, I will do everything in my power to make sure you are safe. I thank each and every one of our brave members of law enforcement for helping me keep this promise. We are all truly grateful. Here, let us follow the example of Israel and show extraordinary courage. And we do this to honor the scared women, children, men, and members of Israeli families who right now, in this very moment, are in the hands of Hamas. We do this for them. Our courage is for them. Let us stay strong together and bring our people home. Thank you for listening.